so right now you are watching this video on the internet using your mobile or laptop which has a valid IP address but how did your phone or laptop gets an IP address so when you purchase your plan from your internet service provider for example Vodafone they have bunch of IP addresses available and from the bunch of IP addresses they will assign you a single IP address so the question is from where the internet service provider gets IP address so internet service provider gets block of IP address from the ICANN which means internet corporation for assigned names and numbers you can find IP address in your phone just go to settings and then go to system then go to about phone and there you will find IP address you will notice there are two IP addresses why they are two we'll see that later so what is IP address the IP address is unique series of numbers which identifies devices on the internet there are two types of IP addresses the IPv4 and IPv6 you may notice the length of the IPv4 is shorter than the length of the IPv6 and the IPv4 is represented in the dotted decimal means each number is decimal and it is separated by dots and the IPv6 is represented by colon hexadecimal means each number is in hexadecimal and it is separated by columns let's see let's see more about IPv4 the length of the IPv4 is 32 bit and the length of the IPv6 is 128 bit now the IPv4 we are taking as an example is a 10.178.133.186 when it is converted into binary you will get something like this so when the IPv4 number is converted into binary each decimal number will be represented in 8 bits so no number can be represented more than 8 bits and there are four decimal number each represented in 8 bit so together it will be 32 bits now suppose I want to find the starting and the ending address of the IPv4 I want to check the range so for the starting address all the bits will be 0 and in decimal it will be 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. And for the ending address it will be all ones and it will become 255.255.255.255 now I want to find the total number the range that we know that the 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 255.255.255.255 but I want to find the number so total number of IPv4 addresses is 2 raised to 32 means there are 4,294,967,296 IP addresses available and as of 2020 there are 20 billion devices that are connected to internet now imagine if we were still following the IPv4 then it won't be possible to connect this much devices so that is why IPv6 is there but the whole internet is not completely shifted to IPv6 it is in process because some devices are still using IPv4 and some are still using IPv6 so it is a mixture of IPv4 and IPv6 now what information you can get from the IPv4 suppose this is the IP address of one device in a network which is 
so from one IP address you can get two information the first one is the network means this IP address represent the network and the remaining portion of IP address represent the host which means the particular device so you can see that from one IP address you can identify the whole network and in that network you can see the particular device it is just like your home address for example in one block there are many houses and these houses uh, have different numbers but these all houses are in same area so how to know how many bits are for host and for network so it is totally dependent on the class of the IP address to find the class of the IP address you have to see the first octet of the IP address if the first octet of IP address is in range of 0 to 127 it means that that IP address belongs to class A if the range of the first octet of the IP address is 128 to 191 means it belongs to class B if the range of the first octet of the IP address is 192 to 223 means it belongs to class C if the range is 224 to 239 it means class T and 240 to 255 it means class E so so here an example which is 19.33.8.55 and this address is of class A why because the range of the first octet is 0 to 127 so it is a class A IP address and in class A IP address the first octet represent network and the remaining represent host means 8 bits is for network and the remaining bits are for host means 24 bits are for host let's take another example find the class and network bit and host bit of this IP address the IP address is 211.79.8.35 now to find class we have to check the first octet In the first octet from the first octet you can see that the range is from 192 to 223 means this IP address belongs to class C and in class C IP address the first 24 bit includes in network and the remaining bits 8 bit represent host now the next example is a 150.23.82.78 means this is the first octet using which you can find the class this is class B IP address and in the class B IP address 16 bit for network and 16 bit for host so this is it for today's session if you have any doubt you can ask thank you